Top Cop, Milton Daisy, sought to convey the immense sadness that pervades the rank and file and executive of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force in the wake of the slaying of police officer Nathan Timet. Constable Timet was shot dead by gunmen who seriously wounded his partner, Isaac Calvin. Calvin is currently listed in critical condition at hospital. Heavily armed assailants were reportedly lying in wait and ambushed the two officers who were acting as armed security escorts on a routine drop-off in the waterworks area in Castries late Saturday night. The bandits opened fire indiscriminately on the officer's vehicle. It's just a sad feeling yeah, for the force and um, everybody sympathizing, especially with the family of a hard-working officer. The deadly ambush of the two policemen has shocked the entire island. The officer Timet was yes, said I'm to be a model man, police officer, and citizen and a family man. He reportedly worshipped regularly at the Grand Riviere Roman Bundes Catholic Church. That community me, and fellow parishioners are said to be devastated yes, by the news of this appalling slaying. Timet was among the police officers who, two weeks ago, participated in the island's first independence military parade since the start of the pandemic. The military tattoo, as it is called, received rave reviews, with the lanky constable who stood well over six feet towering over the proceedings. Commissioner Daisy was blunt about the gravity of the situation surrounding this attack on law enforcement. What happened there, um, if at all anybody was not concerned, they need to be concerned now. Daisy was pressed by the media about the police response to mounting public security concerns amid a rise in violence and vile offenses on St. Lucia. Heard repeatedly calls for the high command and executive of the RSLPF to step its game up. Any concerns in regards to that? You guys aren't doing enough. Well, um, we we have been um, putting our putting things in place, and um, I wouldn't say that I know we need to heighten in terms of the security of the state, but. Um, we are doing that. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force, which paid tribute to the slain officer in a Facebook post on Sunday, also wrote, quote, This will not break us. We are formidable, and our resilience, though tested, will not waver. Unquote. The disturbing slaying of the police officer brings the homicide count to 14 thus far in 2022. Sula Jalfred, HTS News Force.